Oho mo nino na anugo fi awa speech ya buwari kuri ipazua. Buwari kuro kuwa nezo hono. Kucha ya woro kuri ipazua kopo loya. Oho boro ne like hiyo nkureba you go and die. Ha! When I want to watch your video, now you're not trend now. Nigeria insists that they have to impress their neighbors and other people that they eat for rice. I said, no rice. You either you eat what you grow, you grow what you eat, or you die. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, I, I try to make my point. And later, Nigeria appreciated it. Because it provides more job. People go back to the land. We have the land and we produce what we eat. I have only six more days to go. And uh, I try to plan to be as far away from Abuja as possible. And thank goodness I came from an area which is farthest away from Abuja. I said if anybody falls move, I establish a good relationship with my neighbors. The Zen people will defend me. I will just say what I believe about the customs. Um, firstly, uh, I made sure I give uh, the Ministry of Finance to a lady. This is to exploit the cultural behavior of all Nigerians. Once ladies are in charge, people too feel too big to go to ladies. So I'm sure uh, peace will be allowed in the Ministry of Finance, where people will go and start lobbying for their contracts to be paid and so on and so forth. So they will feel too big to go to a lady. So I put a lady in charge. <laughs> that gave me a lot of peace. And as for Colonel Hamid Ali, to ask him to be in charge of customs. No matter what people said about uh, late Sina Abacham, his soul rest in peace. Uh, his, he was a colleague in the military. I knew him very well. When somehow he became the president of this country, uh, or the head of state, the biggest problematic area is virtually centered around Kaduna. So he picked Colonel Hamid Ali and uh, dumped the problem on him. <laughs> so my decision to get Colonel Hamid Ali to come to Kassam is a deliberate one. Uh... Hey! Kanka Abraham Motaderuno. 